What's up guys, it's the Couch Potato here, and welcome back to the center. Let's get right back into it, shall we? So, yes, we're back on the center map, and oh my goodness, I cannot stop playing this. It is such a fun map. So, as you can tell, I did a ton of off-camera work, just because I didn't want to... I didn't want to do the same thing I did in the last series, where uh, you do just the just the stuff in the beginning, where you get the crossbows or, or the little bows and the slingshots and all that stuff. So, but let me tell you this: um, this uh, let me get in close. Okay. By the way, my guy he kind of looks like Vin Diesel, uh, and he, I don't know if I meant it to turn out that way, but uh, he did. So, anyways, let me get in close and tell you a little story. So the center. The center island, uh, the center map, I should say, everything here wants to kill you. And yes, I know it's Ark, so everything always wants to kill you. But everything here that I've seen is such high level. Now, it's within the realm of vanilla levels, so the highest, the level cap is 120. But the Pteranodon that I have behind me, Thinwing, which I thought I'd honor Thinwing in the other series, in this series... Found him. It was a 116. Okay, I threw the uh, the the new bolas at him. The rocks with a string, knocked him out. Got him all tamed up. Tamed out on a 175. Look at his stats. Now I have pumped his stats quite a bit. He's got 827 melee damage, 8,000 health, and 1860 stamina. Now I don't think I'm gonna pump any more melee damage. Either that, or I'm going to pump some more melee damage and make this the only dinosaur that we have that has, like, ridiculous amounts of melee damage. Now, the trike over here, Ares, uh, named after the god of war, is was also a 116 trike in the same exact area. Look at the stats. I have also pumped him as well. 8298 health, 900 stamina, 1000 melee damage, and 788 weight. I mean, the stats on these guys are insane. Not to mention our newest addition, Cutie. Look at how cute she is. Oh, she's so happy to see you. So, this is our level 62 Lystrosaurus, or however the heck you pronounce that name. And uh, she tamed out at a level 62. Uh, 488 health. Uh, or maybe not at 62, sorry. I might have pumped a couple points into her. But, regardless... A Lystro with 500 melee damage, that's pretty good. But as you can tell, I have been quite busy. So I have 220 uh, Trank darts, or Trank arrows. I wish I had 220 Trank darts. 136 regular arrows. I've got my pike, I've got my hatchet, got my axe, parachute, sickle, the whole book. I've got it all. What just happened? Did that Pteranodon just hit me? All right. I'm knocking you out. Yeah, see? Random Pteranodon, level 76. Now, I know that can happen in vanilla, but it happens way more often in this this uh, this map. So, today, I think I want to get a couple things done. And the sun is falling out of the sky. I want to get a couple things done. One, I want to move this whole... Not this whole operation, but I want to move my operation to a new place. A place where I'm going to build my first house. Secondly, I want to tame a dire bear or a woolly rhino or something awesome, just because we've not, we haven't I haven't tamed one of those guys yet. And so, in order to do that, we have to be able to move around the map pretty quickly. So Ares is going to stay at the starter base and protect the base. She's got or he has plenty of health. He's got plenty of melee damage. He's got plenty of movement speed. So I'm just going to put him on neutral and he's going to stay here. Now. On my map, I've already, you can tell how much I've done off camera, I've already explored practically the whole the whole map. Now, where you see home question mark is where I think I want to move. I want to build on something like a land bridge, where it's like got a, it's just a stretch of land and then it's like an arch, archway underneath of it, but I don't know how sensible that would be in the beginning. I don't want to build on the floating island yet, because holy crap, there are some high level spawns out there. Not to mention Alpha's out the wazoo so we're gonna stay away from the center island for now we can go over there and check it out time from time to time but I found something out about the volcano island the trees over there provide charcoal 
You don't have to burn wood in a smithy or in a, in a refining forge or in a fireplace or anything like that. You can just cut down the trees and it gives you charcoal. I think that is the coolest thing ever. So I want my home to be kind of centrally located as well as within a good vicinity of that island and like crystal and metal and all that stuff and where you can get obsidian over at the uh, the volcano island too. So let me grab cutie. Yes, you can pick up cutie with a pteranodon, thank goodness. And I've I've just got some extra metal cooking up there, but we'll get more. But I figure, oh, I am really heavy. I figure what we can do is uh, start moving over to that area because I want to show you what it looks like. It, it's a really neat looking area, and I really think it's got a lot of potential to be a really cool base area. And the base that I'm going for, it's not like anything that I've done before. So it'll have cues from what I've done before, but it won't be like one thing. It'll be a couple things. So it'll have some slants. It'll have it'll have some advanced architecture in there and stuff like that. So I'm just really hoping that I can pull it off what's in my head. But oh my gosh, you guys, this map is absolutely amazing. I cannot believe the the level of detail the level of oh you see what I'm saying a 112 Quetzal that might be what we have to tame today guys dude we might get a Quetzal that would be amazing first episode our uh, second episode Quetzal tame heck yeah but anyways this map is absolutely amazing the attention to detail is impeccable now I uh, off camera went through every cave all the caves that have the artifacts in them. And let me tell you, I am not planning on venturing in there anytime soon until I have, like, maybe Mastercraft. Mastercraft armor, Mastercraft weapons, until I am decked out in gear. So, I was like, bullets, rockets, C4, because there is so much stuff in the caves, it's not even funny to think about. The, the new swamp cave here has so many bugs in it, I got stuck and had to console command my way out of the horde. So it's not a fun place. So eventually I'll show you guys... Is that an alpha down there? I think that's an alpha glow. That's kind of funny. Yep, alpha level 20. So I'll, sh I'll definitely show you guys the caves at another time. Because right now we are nowhere near prepared enough. So... What I'm going to do is I'm going to get closer to my home or where I want to live. And uh, when I have an idea of where I want to live or when I want to show it to you, I'll bring you guys back in. Okay, so uh, quick change of plans. Um, right on the land bridge where I want to build. By the way, this is it. La la la. Dun da da da. Um, there is a dire bear right here. And we're going to see if we can tame it. Can it get up here? No, it can't. Let's see if we can't tame a dire bear right now. Now, I don't know. Um, so I just actually recorded an episode of my other series, uh, which is what I'm going to call the vanilla series. And in that, we uh, we do something with dire bears. I'm not going to spoil it, but I um, I definitely is he going to? Oh, he just ran off the freaking cliff. Okay, whatever. We're not gonna we're not gonna worry about it. I don't I'm not gonna run all the way down there and worry about it. We'll get another one. Plus I think we're gonna go tame that Quetzal. Um because I have a strategy to tame a Quetzal that I've been wanting to try out on a uh, Pteranodon. So Alright, so anyways. Right here is where I think I wanna build. Let me see if I can zoom out enough so that you can actually see the uh no I can't. Let me get on let me get on Thin Wing. Alright. So right here and we'll come out of first person. Now, it's near the swamp, which is not something that I like, but it's a pretty area. It's lush. It's got a lot of trees. It's got water access. Bleh, water access. Um, so I could build a water pen right there. And the water is super deep in this game. So even these little rivers, you could probably fit a Mosasaur through that. Or a plesiosaur, or even probably megalodons. 
So that's kind of cool. So I could build a water pen right there and have them right there. And then I could have like a little uh, storage area underneath of the land bridge for all my other dinos. But I want to build the house on top of this because it's fairly flat, as you can tell. So you can, I could probably build a majority of the, like, whatever I'm going to build out of, like, stone foundations and make it look nicer. Either that or I'm going to put the whole thing on stilts. And stilts, they cost a lot because that's a lot, a lot of pillars. So I don't know what I want to do. Because I don't want to take away from the aesthetic, like the curb appeal of the way the the ground looks and the way everything looks right here. But I might have to do it just a little bit and then put some refertilizer around it and grow some of the trees back. But I'm not gonna try and take out at too many trees. I'll go I'll go away oh I'll go away like and harvest stuff so that I can get materials. But this is what I'm thinking. I want a big platform on top of this land bridge, okay? And on top of the platform is where the house would go. Now, I've done something like this in the past, or I've done things like this in the past multiple times, and it's worked out fairly well. My only thing is, is the platform might have to be on stilts because it is a land bridge, and it's not necessarily all connected to the ground. So... It's going to take some finagling, it's going to take some brainstorming of what I want it to look like, but the foundation is probably going to go from somewhere right, right here all the way over to here. So somewhere like that. So it's going to be a really wide platform because I want a fairly large building on that. Because it's not going to be like a too tall building. It's going to be, I mean, it'll be too tall. But I want it to be like a dynamic looking building. And it, I want it to look good. So it's going to have slanted roofs. And it's going to have like different different um, edging on the, uh, on the roof and stuff like that. That parasaur just fell off the cliff. So I think that's what I want to do. But it's going to take a lot of materials to even get the platform started. So truthfully... I think what I want to do is I want to go tame that Quetzal. So we could do some taming, some taming this episode and maybe a little bit of building prep this episode. But I don't know if I can keep Cutie here and let her be safe. I don't know if she'll be safe, you know? Look at that face. Oh, you want to do a flip? Oh, she'll do a little dance. So I don't know if I can keep her safe here. But we're going to try. She can handle herself. She's got now 599 melee damage. She can handle herself, but she's only got 488 health. So I think this is what we're going to do. We're going to head back to... You know what? No, that'd be, that'd be a waste of time. All right, tell you what. First, thing, first things first, we're going to put the platform down. Then we're going to see how it looks on top of this land bridge. And then we'll go and tame that Quetzal. So I'm going to go and gather a whole, whole bunch of materials, which shouldn't take me too long. And um, then we're going to come back and see how it looks. So I will be right back. So I'm out here gathering uh, materials to make the platform, but I wanted to show you guys the rainstorms in the center map. There's thunder and lightning. Listen for this. Listen. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? Like I said, so much attention to detail in this in this map pack. Or just in this map. You can sometimes see the lightning bolts. I'm making myself dizzy doing that. All right, I'm going to go back to uh, gathering up the materials. Just wanted to share that with you guys. I'll be right back. Hey there, guys. It's me. Uh, so, been having a little problem with uh, Ark right now. Uh, it keeps crashing for me for some reason. Um, so, I might have to cut the episode short here. Uh, I'm sorry I have to do this on this episode. Uh, especially because it's the center and we we're going to do the Quetzal Tame and all that stuff. But, I promise when we come back on the center map... We're going to get some more building done. 
Uh, I got the foundation laid out for it, so the foundation is laid out. Uh, we're going to get some more taming done. It's going to be a lot better, but I don't know why my Xbox is doing this, so I'm going to look into like some Wi-Fi settings or if my Xbox was overheating. I don't know. Um, but uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed the content that was displayed today. Uh, if you did, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe for more daily videos. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.